So I want to share a time when I cast a spell and it came true. Six years ago, at this time of year, literally nine days ago, six years ago, I'm sitting in a bar called Irish Whiskey in Queens, New York, with my soul brother, Sadafa. And we're there amongst the crowd and we're kind of a little bit crunched in at the bar because we're not really interested in the crowd and all the New Year's, everything. We're interested in each other as sister and brother, soul sister and brother. And we're just talking and bringing it in. And, you know, a couple of beverages in, I must say. I say, Sid, we're going to play a game. We're going to play the game Kiss, Marry, Kill but we're going to actually wind that into, spell cast it, into our intentions for the next year. For, 200, for 2018, what are we going to kiss? What are we going to marry? And what are we going to kill? And so we played. And I chose to kiss the idea that I could write a book. I chose to marry the idea that a life outside of New York was possible for me and that I could explore new jobs and new possibilities for me. And I chose to kill the random love affairs that I'd been having all over New York City, which I knew deep down were not soul connected, not heart aligned. And I was doing it as a little bit of self-sabotage for my broken heart. So I chose to kiss, marry, kill. Sid did the same. We got a few people involved and it was a game. It was a game. Kiss, marry, kill. But we intentionally set our energy in a direction with what we want to manifest. I want to kiss writing a book. That book was published January 2020. The book is in my hand. I want to explore life outside New York City. That happened much faster than I thought it would. I now live on the island of Tobago. And killing those random love affairs, I said that night, I said, I will not kiss another man or person unless I really, really want to. And I did it until I met Smokey, the werewolf, my now husband, in the April of that year. But the night before, I'm sitting on this veranda, the same veranda where I saw him for the first time. I just arrived in the fishing village of Buku. And I'm talking to my mom on video chat. And I say to my mom, you know, mom, I'm, I think I'm ready to fall in love. I think I'm ready to meet someone. And she was like, oh, great. Like, what do we want? I want to put on the prayer list. What are you looking for? And I said, and I'm going to swear now, everyone, I said, Mum, fuck the list. That list never got me into any relationship that worked or that, that I liked or any of it. Forget the list of what this person needs to be or any of those things. What I want is I want someone who likes me and I like them. And then I added, and, and, and I want them to have a good heart. And my mother says, well, we can work with that. And I said, yes, we can. I finished the conversation with my mother. I then opened my journal and I wrote a prayer, a spell, a journal entry. What do you want to call it? But within that, I was literally writing lines like I am aligning now with the person who is right for me. I am open, available and ready to meet you. All of these words. I woke up at dawn the next morning, took my cup of coffee in my journal out to that same veranda and Smokey was standing on the pier right in front of me. I forgot about that journal. I forgot about writing that spell until like years later. I literally found it in an old journal and I pulled it out and I was like, Smokey, here I am. This is me calling you in. This is the spell. And he was like, all right then. All right then, witch. Werewolves don't do that. But essentially, this is what we're doing tonight. This, like, what do you want? I said to my mother. What I want is I want someone who likes me. I'm ready to fall in love. I set the intention. I made the space for it and it happened. And yes, it happened overnight, literally, but note in my story, 
when did I begin to weave this magic? New Year's Eve. Months before. So this is the invitation. This is a spell for your whole year. There's no rush. There's all magic. 